Dean Castle, where ancient colonial halls and things behind glass walls are waiting. Welcome to Brigantine, New Jersey. Today we're going to explore the former site of the Brigantine Castle and no other month is better than the month of October, Halloween time. Stay tuned. Look at this sand. I haven't seen sand in a long time. Even feel sand. Oh man. Wow. It's got that smell. There's that smell down here. You can't find anywhere else. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Wow. Isn't it beautiful? Oh yeah. Wow. Very nice, we slept right here last night and sleeping right here, right on the end, listening to the water. Absolutely amazing. Can't get no better sleep than that. So relaxing. Oh yeah. Gotta love it. Yeah, this area is the end of Brigantine, uh, New Jersey Avenue. Got all the condos here, and it's really nice. There's the money pit right there. Oh yeah. Just want to give you some insight, guys. Right there. Oh, believe it or not, all the way out was the famous, oh, right there, famous pier for the Brigantine Castle, right here, went straight out. Now, they did build this walkway so people can walk and jog and, you know, see the water, and they built these barriers because of how much uh, water will come into Brigantine and flood. You can see probably videos on YouTube with that. Uh, but this is nice, don't get me wrong, but this was all not even here. This was just a, a beach and a, a beachy walkway. It was a beachy walkway is what it was. What I mean by that, it was just sand and the street. Kind of like, kind of like down that area right there, where it just, ha just has sand. This is all a little, little walkway. That was your way to the castle. Oh yeah. I'm gonna see if I see any pillars that were in the ground over here that were um, from the castle here. I guess they they pulled them out. I don't think there's any any uh, pillars left or anything to show that it was here. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I don't see anything. Let me jump up here real quick. Nope, I don't see anything. Nothing at all. Nope. Missed the old pier. Brigantine Castle was a... Uh, not just a, a regular castle that people love to go and enjoy themselves. It was a castle that really put a stamp on the haunted industry, big time. It was so scary that people would talk about it 
even till this day and tell their kids and grandkids about the Brigantine Castle. I've been through so many haunts and I mean so many haunts and I've never ever ever experienced anything like the Brigantine Castle. Brigantine Castle had something I don't think no other haunt that I've been through had. And not only was it just, you know, a scare, you know, it was a show. And I like that. And they really, really, really did it so well. And the beauty about the Brigantine was they never broke character. Never. No matter what happened, no matter what went on, they still stayed in character always. It's, it's, just, it's just a shame that it's not here anymore. There was damage from a storm in 1982, which cost about a half a million dollars in damage. Most of the dark rides here in, in New Jersey are pretty much closed or burnt down, just the way it is. Uh, Drackler's Castle in Wildwood, New Jersey, burnt down. Kids got one in there with torches to look through it. They thought they were like getting out of Indiana Jones over here, and they wind up catching on fire and burning down. So, that's a shame too. And most of the props that were in Brigantine, I was brought over to Drackler's Castle. But it is what it is. And we do miss all those rides, especially from from the East Coast, the dark rides. Like that, we absolutely missed it. Big time. Everybody misses it. Everybody talks about it. But the Brigantine Castle was just, whoo. It was one of a kind. It'll always be one of a kind. And that's what I loved about it. Just went in. It wasn't no animatronics back then. It was good old fashioned makeup. And if you look on the website, darkinthepark.com I'll leave the description below you can actually see, you, you can see the, a picture of the of Brigantine Castle click on it, you actually see several Brigantine Castle um, you see the Hornet Mansion which was the sister property and the second property of Brigantine Castle that was a long branch and then uh, you'll see Drackler's Castle in Wildwood so if you hit Brigantine Castle you can see the, some of the makeup some of the commercials. It's amazing. It was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely love and miss the castle. Oh, I miss it. Wish it was here. But apparently it's just not. Yep, right there in the end. Right across. Wow. It's just insane. But I'm going to take you to the museum. I'm praying it's open. There's a museum. Brigantine uh, Historic Museum that is down here. I want to take you to that as well. So we can show you some old, old pictures as well that they have of the castle. Right in the same area right here, I used to take my wife in our old RV here twice a week. Twice a week. I used to take her here and park just in this same spot, maybe a little up more, I'm not sure. Uh, but the uh, sounds of the birds in the ocean was just amazing. I have my official shirt on for the Brigantine Castle. Yeah, that's it, Brigantine Castle has the date. Yep, the old castle in the background. Oh yeah. This uh, shirt was made by one of the cast members. I can't think of his name. One of the cast members do a lot of stuff for the castle, and he made this shirt as a remembrance of the uh, Brigantine Castle. But I got my shirt on. Oh yeah, love it.
behind me is the Pirate's Den, a great place to eat when you're here in Brigantine. It's just walking distance from the old site of the Brigantine Castle. Great little spot, great food. And I even got an old menu. And this menu I found on eBay a while back. And uh, I wanted it because me and my wife always went here. And I took, took her down here twice a week. So I wanted it as a little remembrance. Really cool little menu. And I'm going to go try out the food again. So I've been here a long time. <music> good in the Pirates Den. I really enjoyed it. I had a conversation with the lady that was in there and she said that the Pirates Den has been around since the 50s. Now right past the lighthouse when you come in the Brigantine on Brigantine Avenue, um, she said the other Pirates Den used to be there. But this location over here um, used to be an ice cream shop, believe it or not. Then it turned into the Pirates Den, the restaurant, and history it is. Also to let you know that the uh, there was a Brigantine Castle shrine in there they used to have. The people that took it over five years ago, the new owners, for some reason it's down and people, she said people have been asking about it, where all those pictures are, because it showed pictures of the Brigantine Castle, also showed pictures of the um, castle, why it was burning, and the after effects of the castle, what it looked like. And nobody knows where those pictures went. Could it be contractors, could it be... Just they took it down and it got lost. Attraction in Brigantine on the Jersey Shore. An amateur photographer took these pictures as the Brigantine Castle burned to the ground. And you have to understand also, uh, when the storm hit, Sandy hit, a lot of stuff got damaged that they actually found from the um, castle as well. They had some stuff in the garage, which is really a shame. But it is what it is. Life goes on. You know, there's a, a smell that's down here. Uh, I don't know if it's the some seaweed in there, or if it's just you know the salt water or whatever. But that smell I can only find here, only in Brigantine, and it reminds me of the castle. Oh, it's my favorite smell, believe it or not. Yeah, Savannah in the window, relaxing. You relaxing, Dada? You relaxing, pretty girl? Huh? <laughs> She's relaxing in the window. She loves the window. She walks all across when I'm driving at 70 miles an hour. I want to kill her. Oh, right, pretty girl? That's our Savannah. Relaxing. Enjoying Brigantine. All right. I actually ran uh, at a park across the street. I'm here at the Brigantine Historical Museum. And they have great, great, great pictures of the um, Brigantine Castle in there. But when I got here, did you believe this? Closed for the season. See you in the spring. Kidding me? Oh boy. Ah, I really wanted to see those pictures. Oh well. Nothing you can do. Here's the lighthouse. The famous lighthouse. Back there where the CVS is, right back there. Let me see if I can. Yeah, right there. That used to be called the Island Diner. Yes, the Island Diner. Back there toward down below the CVS. 
Here's a little information if you guys want to pause it about the, uh, the Brigantine Lighthouse. You can check that out. Brigantine's really nice, really quiet. Good place to come to relax. Just gotta watch out for the, uh, the flies, the green heads. Gotta watch out for the green heads. They are rough. Just be careful of those. So, all right, well, we missed out. It is what it is. I'm not gonna cry about it. Oh, sorry about the wind, guys. I don't have my wind thing. I forgot it when I was running here. So, hopefully we'll be down the East Coast next time and we'll hit it. All right, we're heading into the Cove restaurant. We're gonna try this place out, see how it is. All right, we're at the Cove restaurant here in Brigantine. Got a big menu. Actually, got a couple menus in here. Crazy. A lot of food. Nice place. They got a couple of rooms. There's a lot of people outside. There's a thing going on outside, so they got another room out there too as well. But I'll show you outside as well, and we'll show you the food. This is the outside. I told you we're the outside, but the band's packing up now, so it is what it is. Uh, Tanya got the oysters. Very nice. Nice little presentation. I got the French onion soup. French onion soup looking good, yes. Okay. The mussels had, I don't know, a couple little sand in it here and there. Um, the sauce of the mussels was okay. Uh, it wasn't bad. It was, it was good for what it was. And uh, my problem was we had a little issue with tying his food because uh, he asked for extra sauce and he didn't bring, bring extra sauce. And she likes it with extra sauce. And uh, her food got cold. She was eating cold food. But I have to say the management uh, came over and they comped her food and bought her a drink. So I thought that was very nice. And they stood up to what happened. And that's good. So all in all, I give it a what, a three? Out of five stars. Yeah. Three, yeah, I thought so. Sorry for the darkness. Their we're just we're just walking. What's that? Their menu is way too big. Menu's gigantic. It is a big menu. Like you yeah, it's crazy when you go see that menu. It's a big menu. I'll tell you, I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave here. It's crazy. I don't want to leave here. The weather is absolutely beautiful. I mean it's windy. But the, uh, it's got a little chill in the air, nothing crazy, but oh, it feels so good and relaxing here. I mean, it is relaxing here. Woo! Wow. I love it, absolutely love it.